What is up, everyone? So, Roma from Bottoms First here, and uh, welcome back to Alan Wake. And instead of mumbling on, let's just get right into it. Hello, Dr. Broke. Good evening, face. Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So, sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, yeah. it'll do you good. Yes, doctor. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. I might buy this if I hadn't played it before, but honestly, I don't think even when I first played it, I bought this. And then I just killed you right now. Right now. I could do it. I now, could. Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind Something has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Which is exactly what's happening. We go this way, a natural force. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Yeah, sure. No. He's wrong. The doctor guy who's talking in police sense is wrong. The shadows are the only thing that are true and real in this world. Seriously. I'm crazy. They're real. They're real, damn it! Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Yes, and Cauldron you push Lake you. spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Yes. Well, it's no almost as if some supernatural force is making happen. The shadows, the dark people, they're Alan, causing what this! I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After yeah, all true. your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Okay. Okay then. Come on.
<clears throat> uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Good, good acting. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. I saw him in a loony yeah. band. That's good, Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. Yeah. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. These and are... these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s That's and cool. 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. Yeah, I've seen they are, before. well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. Well, I'm it. so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. You just want the manuscript. Don't you think? That's all I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was... Zane could feel the poems taking form, mm -hmm. shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. It's a manuscript page. It's clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too. And Tom was the writer. Well, he's a poet, but still type yeah, of writer. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. 
Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here Ooh. later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they got. Gotcha. Doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Something's wrong. Oh, great. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, oh. but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. Yeah, alive, People actually. behind me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Well, I'm either going nuts or getting back hey, to the real wake. world. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Sure, Type why Typewriter's in your room. Another cutscene. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. <laughs> my hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Sure, man, sure. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn I don't know. Here's a friendly poke from the old witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. Are we? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> nah, okay, I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I'm sort of taking it all Sinclair in. looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. It's the crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had to come in. I had to get to Hartman's Tom office. He had taken destiny. all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Yes, indeed. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay, pay the, the piper. piper. In this case, crazy old guys, but they were in an old metal band, so I mean, I guess I can't say too much about stuff. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to shred! Barry! Seriously? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The oh, I didn't mean to cut him off, but yeah, the cops found him at the trailer. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well. Worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have I no really idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Likes those. Go. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Okay. I'm just going to. Aha! I made the right assumption. Amy. Oh dear. Oh, it's gaining. Let's 
go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That this is getting worse. Did I miss the flashlight? Ah, no, but I missed a flare. Here, hey there, Mayor, I got a flare for you. Goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. Might as well pick up the page. Giant testicle. Ah! I'm here. Yo. So Barry, where's that car? I Screw found it. the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, thanks, Barry. You're, you're a sweetheart. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look at Give me a second. I do enjoy. Oh God, it's amazing. It's that way. I do enjoy the clinic level, if not just because it's something different. I just, I don't know. It gets boring doing the same thing over and over again. Which I suppose is. Shit. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Okay. okay what did that say? Don't trust. Oh, for. ammo, batteries, where's that really good high quality flashlight? Yeah, no duh. I'm sorry. Man. Back in a corner and almost murdered, but I was going the wrong way too. I don't love that. Oh my goodness! Move the channel. Turn it off. We don't want any fighting. It makes people. Oh my god! I, I want to be.
Christ. the thermos behind. I got really lucky with that, um... Okay, you're going the right way. I got pretty lucky with that, uh, flare gun shot. I really did. Could have gone very poorly. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Okay. Why would you give me the shotgun? Unless I did. Huh? Oh! I got killed by a wheelbarrow. Okay, let's try this again. I wish he wasn't such a big whiz. 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 Oh my god. Just a bad decision on my part. What? Oh my god. I'm right there. Okay. There we go. I might have missed a manuscript page, but I was not about to just die. Again. Add again, because yes, I'm fully aware that I've before. Um, can I run back? Oh, no. Never mind. Oh my Christ, he's so slow. There's so many birds. And I get a checkpoint too. See, most people would be delighted by this, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Oh, I remember this now. Ow! You're alive! Get me get out, out of here. here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! How am I not supposed to worry about it? Yeah, 
that's, oh my god, sometimes this game pisses me off to no end. I remember this specific part of the level pissing me off the first time I played it. Hurry up, Barry! for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. The craziest- But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can- Al, I- No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! On all the characters. Stop. Well, second car accident I've been in this week, I guess. I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. <laughs> Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? And there's You're gonna have to find farm. your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Al Hallam. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You yeah, can catch up. That's what Don't mean. worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's a Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Yep. And. I think we can go ahead and end it here. This is a great stopping part, uh, place, and uh, I, I, I think we're good. I think we're good. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot. It helps a lot. And until next time, I've been Soroma from Bottoms First, and I'll be seeing you.